This video details how to change the name assigned to an existing phone extension on the NetBanda 7100. First, click the User Accounts link under the Voice menu. Select the appropriate extension and click the Edit button. On the next screen, change the first and last name for the new employee and click the Apply button at the bottom. Reselect the extension with the new name and click the Edit button again. This time, click the Edit Config button next to the phone MAC address. On this page, verify the new name is present and correct and click the Apply button at the bottom. When prompted to reboot and sync the phone, click the Yes button. To make the new name appear when calling other extensions, navigate to Voice IP Phone Globals. You should see the updated name there, but it needs to be resaved to the directory. Click the link for Add Custom Directory Entry leave it blank and click the Save Global Directory button. After rebooting any AdTrain IP700 phones, the new name will be displayed for incoming calls. For it to display on Polycom phones, go back to IP Phone Configs, select any Polycom phones from the list, and select Update Directories under Other Actions. This completes the name change configuration. All phones must be rebooted to display the new name. Make sure to save your configuration with the button in the top right. To verify the name has been changed, you can use the command line interface to view certain files in the AdTran and Polycom folders on CFlash. For AdTran phones, you can view the AdTran underscore phonebook.csv file in the AdTran folder with the syntax shown on this screen. For Polycom phones, the name change is made in two different files in the Polycom folder. The all zeros directoryxml file in the Polycom directory will show the name change for unconfigured Polycom phones. Again, we use the show file command to view the contents of this file. Each Polycom phone contains an individual directory file based on MAC address that causes the internal names to display. We can view this by looking at the MAC address directory.xml file. This video concentrated on reusing an existing extension. If you'd like to create a new extension instead, you need to delete the previous phone configuration from IP Phone Configs by selecting it and clicking the Delete button. You also need to navigate to User Accounts and delete the corresponding voice user by selecting it and clicking Delete. You can then use the New button to create a new user. For instructions on creating a new user, please see the New User video.